Yeah, and during like the parade, that. our Scott Abraham got probably one of the best seats in the house because they had the players were on four of those double-decker buses. Uh -huh. He was on one of the buses. Yeah, he was on one of the buses. He got a chance to talk with them, and Scott talked to Brayden Holpe, the goalie. He talked to Lars Eller. Scott, how cool was that experience for you? The coolest experience of my life. I'm calling it the ride of a lifetime. It was incredible being on top of a bus and just looking at the sea of red from the basically the perspective of the players. And we're, on, we're just in front of the National Archives building right now, Constitution Avenue, back open for business. If you saw some shots earlier, the National Archives building was flooded with red jerseys. There were so many people during this stretch. I was practicing throwing beads with the players. At one point, Braden Holpe turned to me and it was just like, wow. And one of the coolest moments for me was riding on this bus and seeing these players enjoy this moment with their family, with their young children. This is what it's all about bringing people together, bringing families together to cheer for one moment, to cheer for one team. And these players were just basically in awe at the amount of people on the sides of the parade route. And it was, it was a remarkable experience watching it with these players. And after the rally, I actually caught up with Tom Wilson. And Tom, he was pretty amazed at the whole experience himself. You look at the fans pouring out here. It's bigger than hockey, isn't it? It is bigger than hockey, and I think, I mean, it takes every piece. It takes every piece of the city. It takes every piece of the team. You don't just win a Stanley Cup. It's the hardest thing maybe in sports to win. And uh, just to see the atmosphere, see everybody out here, it's to celebrate with each other because everybody earned it. This team's going to be connected 20, 30 years. You guys are going to be brothers for life. Yeah, and that might, might, that might be the most exciting thing is that, you know, in 20 years, no matter where you are, on a couch somewhere or whoever's doing what, We'll stop and we, you know, we're going to have a good time again. So couldn't be happier for every single one of them to, to lift the cup and share with their families and everybody. The banners still remain alongside Constitution Avenue. There's Tom Wilson in the Stanley Cup. This is a culmination of a remarkable achievement for this team. And they were chanting back to back during the rally. So you never know. They're still hungry. They're still motivated. They want to keep this trophy, this Stanley Cup in D.C. for a long time to come. Allison, Jonathan, back to you. Okay, Scott, thank you so much. So